Within hours of water rising and rushing down the Nolichucky River, Nashville's firefighters were some of the first to volunteer. We were pulling them off of rooftops of commercial buildings, of the hospital. Searching for people in the flood water during Helene's aftermath with a helicopter. The here. hospital that was affected there in Unicoi and the plastic plant, and every, yeah, they were pulling people out from everywhere. Reacting fast when disasters hit communities hard makes the Tennessee Helicopter Aquatic Rescue Team invaluable. And being able to, to cut out a lot of red tape, because when these floods hit, they usually hit very fast. And, uh, and I think by having connections already made that you can bypass a lot of red tape. That connection is a partnership formed in 2019, including the Nashville Fire Department, Tennessee Highway Patrol, and Tennessee National Guard. Where we can deploy fast. Uh, we had teams on the ground in under 90 minutes in Hazard, Kentucky. Nashville firefighters with Tennessee Task Force 2 worked to save lives from the air. Others helped with relief efforts on the ground. They had mule teams, they had people on foot, uh, ATVs, they had air support, dropping supplies. With I-40 shut down and bridges still washed out, Larry says it is an uphill climb to recover in the East Tennessee mountains. They've been, uh, they've been shaking pretty hard. They're resilient. They're really pulling together out there right now, but they're, they're going to be down for a while. But with the volunteer spirit by their side, they begin the long process to rebuild the communities they call home. Kim Rafferty, News Channel 5.